Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we have an amazing tutorial for you on how to create a V2Ray VLess server account and set it up using the HTTP Injector app. If you're interested in VPN hidden tricks, make sure to visit our blog. But before we dive in, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Let's get started. First, open your favorite browser and search for VPN Jantit. Click on the official link from the search results. Once you're on the website's homepage, click the menu button in the upper right corner to expand the menu list. Then click Free VPN List. A pop-up will appear. Select Free V2Ray VLS. This will open the location page. Choose your desired location and click on it. On the server page, you'll see options for different servers, such as 5 days or 7 days. Select your preferred server duration and click Create Username V2Ray VLS. Enter your username and wait a few seconds for cloud verification. Once it's successful, click Create Username V2Ray VLS again. In a few seconds, your server will be ready. Copy the server link, which will be V2Ray VLS only WS for future use. Next, open your device's Play Store and search for HTTP Injector. Click on it and then click the Install button to download the app to your device. Once it's installed, click Open to launch the app. On the app's home page, click the arrow button below the Start button to open the page. In the TLS Type section, choose V2Ray slash X-Ray and fill the box in the circle. Then click the Save button. Now click the Settings button in the upper corner to open the menu, and then click V2Ray X-Ray. A new page will open. Click the plus icon at the top to open a small window, then click the Paste button to paste the data you copied earlier from the website. When the data is pasted, all settings will be automatically added. Go back to the home screen and click the Start button to connect to the secure web connection. And there you have it, folks. That's how you create a V2Ray VLess server account and set it up using the HTTP Injector app. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.